Thanks for staying with us. We still have Ife Dayo Agro with us. One of the things I like most about um, the former governor of Lagos State, Baba Tanesh Fashila, is the fact that he's proud of the fact that he's homegrown. You know, he tells everybody. And I also like that about you. You're Nigerian, true and true, and you started a business with this, in this our struggle, and you're successful. Could you take us through that journey so that a lot of people want to learn how you thought about starting that community and how it morphed into products, merchandising. Yeah. How did that work? Uh, Diary of a Nigerian Girl started just because I wanted to write, speak my mind. I used to live in a bubble where I thought women can be anything. You know, it was just easy. That should be normal, right? Mm -hmm. Then I came out of that bubble and saw that women are actually more surprised than I thought they were. Mm. And I just had this opinion amongst my friends and I felt like I don't think it's enough. I don't, I don't think I'm saying enough in that circle. I needed to speak up more. Because you know how women are more, we are trapped in shame. You can't really speak mm. what you're going through because mm. people have made you feel shame. Right. For you, even being a victim, even if you're not a victim, whatever you've gone through, you can say it because you're learning from it and you're like moving up or progressing. Right. So I realized that, you know what, if I can speak my mind, I'm, I was hopeful that other people would take the cue and also do so. And that's what happened. So I just started just speaking my mind and writing people stories. People started sending you stuff and then you people posted. Stuff. And the crazy part is people started writing their comments, their stories in the comments without mm. hiding themselves mm. or trying to use anonymous platforms. Mm. Which, which and that, is, yeah. yeah, so that's, that's what the thing. Wrote, the kind of things you wrote, the kind of experiences sometimes that you share look yes. so deep. And deep. <laughs> so what exactly, is there anything particular that happened to you that, you know, compelled this opening up? No, like I said, it wasn't something... I mean, I grew up with... My mom used to say, I, in Yoruba, Allah She used to call me that because I was never ashamed to <laughs> speak my mind. Like, so she said, So she used to say that a lot. But then I realised that if I can be myself 100% on that Diary of Inaja Girl platform, it's easier then for other people to go with that. Yeah. So but that was, that was going to be happened. my next question, is that many people find it hard, especially in Nigeria, to open themselves up. And yeah. then here you are, a stranger to many of us yeah. that send these um, stories, and also a, someone that puts the story out there, and people still trust you to send those stories to you. And I guess my answer would be what you just said. Because you put yourself out there, yes. people find it comfortable. So why do they trust you? Is it just because you are willing to put your own story out there? I don't know. I, don't, I think maybe it's being genuine first because people mm -hmm. know when you're genuine, no matter how much you try to... If I like someone, I know this person is faking today. I feel like how I just know that today is a faking day. <laughs> oh. But then when you come out as yourself 100% all the time, I mean, what do I have to lose by being mm. genuine? Mm. The worst thing is I'll be judged for it. And mm. that has never bothered me anyway. So for, for a long time, I, I actually, when you, you were not your face. Like the yes. page did not show your face. Yes. It was just a platform for a long time. Why did you, how did you transition into showing who you are? Mm -hmm. And why? why did you do that? Okay, two reasons. Only my friends know this. One day somebody just sent me a picture of myself and said, I know you. And I realized it was going to get out. And I had to tell my story. I'm not going to allow anybody to do you. that for me. What's that story? I mean, I don't know the story. I would like to... Like, just come out and show my face oh, okay. because I was anonymous. Mm -hmm. And somebody sent me a picture one day and said, I know you. I'm going to reveal you. And Imagine that. How did the person know who you? I don't know. Sent me a picture that I don't even know how... They got yeah. it. The person got the picture. Mm. So I was you like, I'm not going to allow that. intimidated when you... When in certain classes. I mean, I've seen, I've seen you a few places. I mean, and... Um, I don't know you much, so I don't just come to you, but yeah. I, when I'm in those places, sometimes I just choose to stay alone because I feel that oh, this is not my crowd. I'm mm -hmm. just do what I got to do and get out. And I, and I almost feel like I can connect with you somewhere like, okay, this person is so real. So you're not, you're just Somebody doing your... real, and she just doesn't, she doesn't blend with these guys who are somewhat fakeish. We know the fakeness, but we just, we just sit down there and do what we have to do. <laughs> How do you, how does you, how do you blend or how do you, or do you have to, how do you manage an, this? Do you have to put up an appearance or are you yeah. accepted for just who you are like that? Even in all I don't schools? blend. I don't see the need to blend. I mean, at the end of the day, this is what has been going well for me mm. because I do not blend. Yeah. And why change that? Because I don't, if I like you, I don't care who you are. If I, it's not even about likeness. Sometimes our values don't align and we can't force that. And mm. if both of us are having a conversation and it's going this way, I'm going this way. We just, you know, let it go and just leave it alone and we don't have to be friends. So if I, there's this part of your story that I think for me, I think is what made me connect with you. 
and it's the fact that you had sort of like a tough background growing up. Things were financially hard. Right. <laughs> and for many Nigerians, we have that story. Yeah. And for a lot of Nigerians, they feel that that's the end of their story. And mm. you always find yourself, but you have launched yourself from that background and look at who you are today. Could you just say something that helped you on your journey to becoming you today, even though you came from that background, so that a Nigerian watching in that current um, yeah, situation feel like will feel work. that there's hope as well? One of the things I'm very passionate about is telling women, do not have kids if you are not emotionally capable of doing that. This is because my mother, forget money, wasn't, we didn't have money, so there was not, we didn't have to rely on that to have confidence or be sure of who you are, but I don't, like, she's such, she's, she was such a wise woman. I miss her. Mm. <laughs> she's late now. Mm. And she would instill all of that into us. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're special. So when she took us to, I've said this story, and I'm going to say it real quick. We went to a former governor's house because I was looking to get into uni. I didn't pass jam very well. So <laughs> they asked us, like, okay, we know this person. Let's go. And when I got to the person's house, fountains, huge doors, like, the doors were, like, like wide and tall. I'd never seen that in my life. I mean, I was coming all the way from Shogunle mm. <laughs> in Oshodi. And you're looking at Ikoyi in such a way that it just felt surreal. Mm -hmm. And then when they, so I got down, I sat down. I couldn't sit well. I was so uncomfortable. Yeah, and my mom was so annoyed with me. She said, like, what is wrong with you? Why are you sitting like that? I'm like, I, I just, my friend, sit up. I want to ask you what you want. You speak up. I said, okay. So I sat, you know, straight back. What do you want to say? I would like rice. Mm -hmm. I said, anywhere you set your, your foot into, you belong there. Nobody is better than you. Mm. Don't go somewhere and start fidgeting. Mm -mm. Forget money. In your heart, in your being, you're mm. special, you're important. Wow. And that is what I've carried with me all the rest of my life. Wow, that's such a powerful sure. story. How, how do men react to stuff like that? Because Nigerian men, you, they, they always feel intimidated when they see a woman who has such confidence. You come in and you feel like, I own this place, I'm mm -hmm. in charge. Yeah. Do you find that you, do you find the relationship difficult when you have that attitude? Or, you have, you, or do you feel that, listen, it, it's empowering for you and you don't really care? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. So um, I, I, need, I need to go back into Diary of a Niger Girl. You write. You know how to write. I, I, I feel strongly that this, this thing we have in our hands that we all carry, some of us don't understand the huge platform that we have here. And there are many young people watching right now. They are complaining about ASU strike. Um, I don't have anything doing. Um, I, do, I can't get um, funds. But you created an industry. <laughs> you created a, com in, a community worldwide from your phone and your brain. And I want you to distill that to those watching right now. How was it starting that platform? What, how did you... How, how was the beginning like? Were there comments? Did you go viral? Did you wait? What was the journey? Never, never went viral at the beginning, of course, because I, I wasn't gossiping or doing celebrity gist. So it wasn't a sensational. So it was going to be hard for me to go right. viral anyway. But then I kept going. And at a point, I must be honest, I was very upset, not maybe sad, because people were not responding to me. I'm like, are you not seeing the sense of what I'm saying? What's going on? And you know, but I just kept, just keep going because I wasn't doing it for money. So mm. it wasn't, it was okay with me. If I woke up today and I saw zero comment, I'll post another one. Mm. Just like, you know, I'll keep talking. And so, and gradually it just kept, I mean. How does the money come? Uh, I was in business before mm. Diary of a Niger Girl. Right. That was why. So when people talk, I say, please do not compare yourself with me. Mm. But I will really hope you know that not all money is good money. You don't have to take everything that comes to you. But at that time, I was very comfortable. Oh. So that was why mostly... Okay, side hustle. Yes, it, was a, it wasn't a it was hustle. A hobby. It was a hobby. Yes, hobby. it was just me writing. Mm. So it didn't really bother me. Also, what I needed more, what wasn't money, it was... Um, community. Community. It was for people to receive what I was saying and hear it and get better. But it wasn't happening, you know. So the products came, because I thought the products came as a result of the, the community, but you've always, you seem like you've always had that product even before the, the community business. started. No. The business was oil and gas. I was in ah, oil and gas business. You're a big yes. girl. Big girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't in right. the, the business started November 2020. Yeah. Right? Yes. Oh, right. And yeah. before then, I've always loved. Um, fragrances. I love, I sniff people. That's a very bad habit sometimes yeah. in my life. It's not good, you know. So I've always loved fragrances and that started like that. Okay, let me sell. And it was so shocking that 
I told people, I'm going to sell candles. I were waiting. And the day the candle launched, it got sold out. Oh, wow. wow. I was so shocked. I was like, really? <laughs> people like candles like this in Nigeria. <laughs> I didn't know that Nigerians liked candles. I thought they liked diffusers, mm -hmm. all of that. So we started with candles, and then it just went off. So the business started from the community, mm. not before the community. Oh, fantastic. So because you're on social media, is there anything that is... That you, is there a limitation to what you can post? So right on. Is there a limit to what... What should be on social media? For me is, is or anything, generally? Is it, is there, when it can you be too much? <laughs> yes, sometimes, some things can be too much. I mean, at the end of the day, you need something to hold back for yourself because it's not everything that you put out there for people. I think social media is you give people what you want them to know, mm. not what you, you, everything about your life shouldn't be out there. So when people say, oh, I know you fair very well, Really? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you may know some part, but no, I can't. Yeah. So, yes, there can be too much yeah. of information. Yeah. Oh, let's go on a quick break. When I come back, you can change the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We still have our guest here, Ifeda Yago. Let's take a few comments for her on social media before we wrap um, okay. up. Okay, so someone says, I love your story with your mom as Immaculate Boy says... Um, Chigozie McDonald says, I loved her story with her mom. Macaulay Boy says, good to have Dang on the, off, <laughs> on the show today. Tell her her Thursday gist are so captivating. Yeah, we know <laughs> Please her gist. help me to ask her what is coming up today. Have <laughs> you posted that today already? No, not no, yet. no, no, no. So can you give them a scoop? No. No, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. no you wait to find out okay. at 7 p.m. or so. Oh, okay, nice. so Elizabeth yeah. Ado says on the topic as well that at the end, we're all human beings. Yeah. How, do you, how you, do you think a good thing is good? for you alone. I complimented the lady I saw with the same shoe I wore very expensive on an occasion. Mm. To me, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Someone said, I, I, please ask her, is she still single? Yeah, so I will. Okay. Kick on my chest. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you single, Dan? Are you, are, you in the, are, you are, in are you in the market? Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not Now she's doing it too much. Oh, so there's somebody there. Oh, okay, there's somebody there. That's Where? There's somebody. I mean, if you're, if you're not saying anything, there's somebody there. That is what people do. When you say that I'm coming on you, I say, hey, God. No. no. Shall you not now tell our viewers? Is somebody there? <laughs> yes, or no? yes or no? Yes or no? I don't like to answer the question. When Buari does, when, when, when Buari does answer, you're not saying Buari doesn't answer. Oh, now this more question. You're not I'm answering Buari has so many, so many things to hide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Brian, go ahead, please. Yeah, so that was my question. But maybe if I recount it, maybe you'll be able to answer some things. Okay. So, you know, um, you are quite open about um, your relationships yes. and even how it starts and, you know, when it goes, yeah. um, when goes you finally go bad. your separate way, when it goes <laughs> bad. And I find that, you know, quite inspiring because with women, we find that we like to hide some of these things. Mm. But you are willing to talk about that. So could you tell us some of the things that make, uh, that you like in a man, that attracts you in a man, that for you would be mm. the special ingredients that you want to be in a relationship with this person. Yes. And is there one right now? Well, we're still going back to that. No, yeah, no, <laughs> and I'll okay, so you for what you like. Okay. What do you like? Let's go back to the things I like. I mean, the first thing I like is a kind person. If you're not mm -hmm. kind to me, if you're kind to me and you're not kind to other people, I already know you're going to, I'm going to get there where mm -hmm. I'm going to annoy you and you'll be able to, you're mm -hmm. not kind to me. So I like people who are kind. I like people who are confident. I like people who are, Hard working because I don't, I cannot, I'm very, I don't have patience for lazy people. So mm. you have to be hard working. Whatever it is you're doing, I don't care. Just tall, short. Ah, I like to. Okay. So let's see the one. Now that one, now that one, that's normal. Yeah. No, but that, those are, that's more important yeah, than we know, we the tall and short. That's what they yeah. say. Yeah, it's true. Okay, just, let's <laughs> how many tall people do you, is it easier to get tall people or so, like, do tall, more tall people? So, I mean, it's the weirdest this? things. Like, mm. I just caught... The short guys. Come. No, tall guys. Oh, tall guys. Yeah, oh, like, I just... How do you handle sliding into your DM? Oh, I have put them on a thing where Instagram will feel tight. Like, oh, some, nice. There's, there's some words that you say that Instagram will not allow me to oh, say. Oh, fantastic. So. Let me take Hafsat. Hafsat's wow. calling from Zaria. <laughs> Hafsat, are you there? Yes, I am. You're live. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Um, good morning you fed <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I love you and I love your family. You inspire me a lot. I'll be right back. I just want to contribute to the, the fact that 
Okay. Yes, go ahead. It's your view. Let it count. Like, like uh, cinema, it happens to me too. when I get employment newly, I'm a school teacher, primary school teacher. Mm. So the, my, first, my first year, I wore uh, a Hollandian. Mm. I never knew it was a Hollandian dress. I don't know about what time, none of our materials. Mm. And um, this was, I did it in my, you know, from the north, so when you're getting married, your husband, your groom puts a, a set of boxes. Mm -hmm. So I had this one letter in the and I put it to a tailor, he made a beautiful thing. So when I was in my class, and uh, they let me turn around, I was asking me, where did I get this? I was surprised. Where did you get this? So I told her it's on my boxes, on my marriage. She looked at me, more like I am closing her eyes because she has, and she has the head. Hmm. So what if you have the head? I was like, so if you have the so I should not be mm -hmm. So it was so funny. I think it's right. Mm. You know, some right. people have to go for it. Right. Thank you so much. I think we got the gist of it. Yeah. We have we have to we run out of time, right? But I, I can't I can't let you leave without sharing with us what the next steps are for Dan. You know where you because we've seen you do, doing so many things. What should we expect from you in the future? I think most importantly for me now is to take the community to a physical space where we actually mm -hmm. get to sit and converge and share all of these things we share online mm -hmm. and share it for real and look at one another while we're having that mm. conversation. With Dank Lifestyle, I know definitely we're going into baby products, all of those nice oh, things. Oh, really? Oh, yes, that's we cool. are. <laughs> we nice. are. So that's, for me, I always like um, organic progress, where one step at a time, the next stage will tell you the next stage yes, to go yes. to. Oh, I know the next stage, but I'm not thinking too far because I'm more focused on making that next stage mm. When you do your businesses, do you look at things like collaborations? Are those the sort of things that work What's for your collaborations? Work collaborations with the product with, or... With people. Yeah, yeah, why yeah, not? I'm I always do... open to collaboration. Mm. Always because open. Because people would say to you, some people are quite competitive, want to lead by themselves, do mm -hmm. it by themselves, and then some people like to look at you know, working with other people. Do yeah. you think that's the way to go? Especially when we're talking about women, supporting women, mm -hmm. and those mm. sort of things that right. you would... Oh, definitely. Right, because I mean, you remember that you are not alone. Mm -hmm. they, right. they are not on. You don't. You are not by yourself. Exactly. And collaboration with other people, people who know me don't know her. People who know her don't know me. Sure. So why not work with her so mm -hmm. we can merge? Thank you so much. We have to wrap up now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having, having you on the show. Thank you for having me. All right, let's go on a break now. When we come back, bring in our next guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back.